I hope you guys are doing well. Welcome into this video for the Solar Readings in Sagittarius preview. So every month I do a wonderful guidance for the entire solar month. So when we shift the sun sign from Scorpio and we move into Sagittarius, I do a reading for the entire month. So that is from November 21st until December 21st. And we really highlight this energy of Sagittarius. I am a Sagittarian sun, so I'm very excited about these readings. I just pulled through uh, the cards, I got the setup, and I know the guidance is going to come through. So I wanted to jump on live here and give you guys a little sneak peek of the videos I'm going to be recording all day today and that you're going to have access to this week. So the service itself is only $11.11, .11, so keep that in mind if you're interested in signing up. It is a way to support me and to support me as I support you. The guidance that's going to come through here is based on the intention that I set that it is aligned with your highest good and the highest good of all, and that it helped to guide you back to the wise instinctive knowing within yourself. That's always my goal whenever I do a reading, whenever I offer a service, I want to guide you back to the knowing that's within you. So as I use the spiritual tools of the cards, we're really allowing the universe, the co-creative nature of our reality to come into play. And we have a little bit of fun as we dive into our own intuition and our own understanding about our lives and what is reflected in the cards. So I'm not a psychic, but I am a very intuitive person. And I use the spiritual tools of the cards uh, to really help to shine light and bring messages through. So I know that it works because I know that this isn't a random universe and when you set an intention, you can actually change something that should be random into a predictable result. So it's the same thing with the cards. We set an intention to answer a question. The card that comes through is not random and it does provide a lot of guidance for you um, based on how you interpret it, based on the words that come through, the pictures, the messages that I bring through. And it's really a supportive way to navigate your life. I've been navigating my life with readings from other people for seven years now, and it is um, been two years now since I've been doing card readings for other people um, on the low key, but really kind of starting to rev up this year. So the solar readings are my paid service, only $11.11. .11. And um, the lunar readings that I do every week are free, and you can access those on my website. So to sign up, you can go to devotedandvulnerable.com slash services and sign up for the solar readings there. And you can access the free lunar readings at devotedandvulnerable.com slash lunar readings to get access to those. The lunar readings for the full moon eclipse in partial eclipse in Taurus are already posted on the site. So um, if you are watching this before the 19th of uh, November, so go ahead and check those out if you haven't. It gives you a little bit more of an idea of what we do here in our readings. But I wanted to give you guys the layout of what the energy and what the information that's coming through is. We're going to the sacred rebels first. They are really going to point us to what we're aiming at with our Sagittarian Archer bow. We're aiming at our big dreams. We're aiming at, you know, this grand vision, this beautiful wish that we have. And the Sacred Rebels are going to help us identify what that wish is or and or how to focus on that wish. And then we're going to get clarity with the, um, this is the Sacred Rebels by Alana Fairchild, by the way. And we're going to get clarity with the Modern Mystic Tarot, Tarot by Crystal Doty. She is my mentor. I've been following her for four years, and I just got her deck, and I've been training in it, and she is just an absolute fantastic person. So um, if you want to look her up and watch her readings as well, she does readings every week uh, for free, and she does a monthly reading starting at the calendar month. So it's a little bit different than what I do. You can support her, too, if you feel called to. Uh, so that's what the card here is going to be. That's the focus. And then we're going to clarify. We're going to clarify for you how this month you can support your dreams, support your aim, support your focus spiritually, mentally, physically, and emotionally. So we're going to get clarity for each of those aspects of your life with the modern mystic tarot. And then we're going to move over here to the lunar part of the readings. So we have the modern mystic tarot cards down here already. Each card represents one of the moon phases. So we have the new moon 
solar eclipse in Sagittarius, which will happen on December 4th. And the card that came through from the Modern Mystic Tarot was the Eight of Earth. She is learning all she can know about a subject, and that is totally Sagittarian. We love to learn. We love to learn all that we can. And so we're going to get clarity on what it is that we're learning about around the theme of this new moon in Sagittarius with the Goddess Power Oracle by Colette Baron reed and we're going to move on to the quarter moon in Pisces. Now, Pisces is the last sign of the zodiac, so it is like the end of something. So it makes sense that the world card shows up here because the world card represents completion, fulfillment, path to enlightenment, and the time to celebrate. So we're going to find out from the goddesses what it's time for you to celebrate as we move to the middle of your solar month around the 10th of December, which is when the quarter moon in Pisces happens. And then finally, we move to the full moon in Gemini, which will happen on December 18th. And that card that came through is the Page of Fire. This is a messenger of passion, and this is like really a new, um, a new endeavor, fresh energy. So we're going to find out what's going to come in fresh and new towards the end of your solar month, along with that lunar phase. So... That is the guidance that's going to come through for us that we're going to tap into. You're going to have a meditative process that I'm going to guide you through with the Sacred Rebel deck, something that you can go back to throughout your month to really support you as you navigate all the energies that the Sagittarian sun brings. We do the readings based on where Sagittarius shows up in your chart. So even though if you don't have Sagittarian sun, which means you were born under the solar sign of Sagittarius between November 21st and December 21st. Um, you might have Sagittarius show up in a different aspect of your chart, in a different planet. So it could be your moon, it could be your Venus, it could be your Pluto, it could be your Jupiter. So I discuss what it means to have Sagittarius in this planet, in your chart, and then we do the whole reading based on highlighting the Sagittarian energy in your life as the sun highlights the Sagittarian energy in our universe. So that really helps you to highlight it in your own universe. It's really quick and easy to find out where the planets show up in your chart. Even if you don't know your birth time, go ahead and go to the services page where you can sign up. On that page, there is a tutorial video to help take you through the steps to find your planet sign so that you know where Sagittarius shows up or doesn't. It may not show up in your chart at all. Don't worry, there's a reading for you as well. And if you don't know your birth time, if you click on the how to find your planetary readings video, that video is linked in the description to the how to use the pendulum video to DAOs for your birth time so that you have the information to put into the free chart on cafeastrology.com and get the data that you need to know which reading to watch. Also know that you could have more than one reading. I have a Sagittarian sun, but I also have three other planets in Sagittarius. So for me, I'll have four readings that are relevant to me this month. You are always guaranteed one reading, and you could have multiple readings in one month. So just wanted to come on and share with you guys. I'm about to get started with these readings. I'm very, very excited to offer them to you. I love Sagittarian energy. I love being a Sagittarius. I love the hope and the dreamy nature of us. I love the learning and the fun that we bring, uh, even if we're a little bit impatient at times and flaky. So <laughs> thank you guys all for your love, for your support. Really, truly, I appreciate you in any way that you show up, but supporting me with the service is supporting me in my work that I do here for humanity, and it allows me to continue to show up this way and continue to support in this way. So if you have the inclination to sign up and support me, please go ahead and do that. Join me in the solar readings because they're going to be a lot of fun. We're going to focus on your dreams this month and help you to navigate throughout the entire solar month of Sagittarius. As always, namaste. The universal light within me salutes and honors the universal light within you. I hope to see you guys in the readings. Namaste.